Okay, so I put a lot up here. Hey friends, so today I am out in my garage doing a DIY because I started writing a post on German Schmier fireplaces. And um, I mainly did this because I wanna do this technique on my niece's stone fireplace. And I have another niece who has some brick in her house that she's talked about doing it. So I figured, let me practice, let me research. I'll even write a post about it and then that'll let us know if this is a project we really wanna do. So um, I'm going in my research, I discovered there are two ways. There is um, the mortar mix way and mortar mix uh, comes in gray or white. And then there's, you could also probably do colors like if you went to a special brick place, they can give you actual colors. Um, and then the other one is joint compound, which is typically white. And most people, most of my friends who have done this have done the white and I'll have some examples at the end that I'll share with you. Uh, and there's examples in the blog post, which I'm going to link in the description. But uh, let's get started and we'll apply the mortar mix on first, which is 70% powder, 30% water. And I'm emphasizing that because the first time I mixed it, I mixed it backwards and it was like chocolate milk. <laughs> So anyways, let's get started. of like peanut butter consistency. A nice, soft peanut butter. Okay, so let me push this out of the way so you can see over here. All right, now I got some gloves because people said get some gloves, so we're gonna try that. Okay. So they also said to use like a piping bag, which I don't, for this, I'm not gonna do a piping bag, but they said to, to put the mortar in the piping bag and then squeeze it into the grout lines. But I'm, like I said, I'm not really gonna do that because I'm really just wanting to see what this looks like. So. Okay, wow, I have so much here and I didn't even need that much, but um, they also said to work in small areas like five, you know, five foot air, five foot. Yeah, five foot areas. Um, because your mortar will dry quickly and you don't want your mortar to dry on you because you want to start moving it, moving it around while it's wet. Um, and then I would recommend practicing on something beforehand just so you can see consistency-wise what you want to do. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a sponge. And I actually have a small sponge in the house I'm going to go grab. Okay, so I dampened the sponge. And as you can tell, I put a lot up here. Let me bring you closer. Let me see that. Yeah. Okay, so I put a lot up here and then a little bit less and then a little bit less. So let's start with this bottom one and we're just gonna move it around to get that look we want. Now, 
Now, if you want white, I didn't, I really didn't even ask like what, what color this was when I bought it. Um, but if you want white, I would, I would go and get, ask for white. Apparently they do have white. So you just take and move it around on top and it'll dry however you put it. So you can kind of remove some of it. See how I'm removing it? Um, you can do like small areas, like move it onto this area, maybe down here, maybe heavier on the corner. Okay, so that's where we are on this one and that's my sponge. So. Let's now try the joint compound. Okay, so on these bricks, we're gonna do spackle or um, spackling compound. And this one, I think it's gonna be so much easier just because I don't have to mix anything, but this one would be more expensive. So keep that in mind and let's make sure you start with a wet sponge. So. Grab your sponge. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, just like the mortar, you're going to take and put it into the, um, the grout lines first. And this, again, works so much better if you do a piping bag. Okay, so we're going to put some joint compound in a um, Ziploc bag. And this is gonna be the same basic concept of a piping bag that you buy from the hardware store. And of course, you will not be using a tiny little bucket like this either. Because um, <laughs> if you're doing a whole fireplace, you're gonna need a, probably a big bucket of it. So once you get um, your material, your spackle down at the bottom of your piping bag. Wow, that is really stuck. Um, you're gonna cut a little hole in it. Wow, these are terrible scissors. Okay, so what I do is I twist it here and then just start the flow. So you're gonna go into the grout line like this. It's like coming out the side. Okay, and then you'll take your um, trowel and you'll kind of move it in to the grout line and then take your wet sponge and move it around. the joint compound and the mortar mix to the bricks and they turned out really good. It took me a long time to figure out the consistency of the mortar mix, but I got it figured out. I got it backwards. I did 70% water, 30% mix, and that was literally chocolate milk. So I do not advise that. Um, <laughs> make sure you do 70% powder, 30% water. That's, that's the better consistency. Um, so anyways, I've got them both on there. I've got gray mortar mix on one and white, which um, spackle comes in white usually. So, so that way you can also see the two examples, but let's go look at it. Okay, so here's the joint compound. And like I, like I said, when I was doing it, I did a heavy one here and kind of a medium and a really light film here. And then over here is the gray, which you can tell that it's really, it's gonna take overnight to dry, but that's the gray one. So, well, I'm excited to see how it's gonna to look tomorrow when we come back out here. Good morning, it's day two. I'm actually headed to the grocery store, but I wanted to show you what the, um, the German schmear looks like. So let's turn this around. Okay, so here is the first one and I'm definitely getting a chalky finish, which makes me think maybe I didn't 
mix it just right. But then again, it is definitely on there. So maybe that's normally what it's supposed to do, just have a little bit of chalk, but I think it looks good. I mean, look at that. And can you imagine if it's white? I like it a lot. Okay, over here is the joint compound. I'm just checking to see if it comes off. I think this one looks good too. Um, this one was easier for it to work with because it was already mixed. And I like how it looks too. So, which one do you like? Comment below. Do you like using the spackle or joint compound or the mortar mix? Now, one thing. One little tidbit about this one, the mortar mix. Um, this is, I think this one's definitely an exterior application. I'm not so sure this would be a good application for exterior. I think the weather would probably wear this quickly. This is good for indoors, but if you want something that's durable and it's going to last, go with this one. Hey friends, so I decided to sit on the back porch because it is beautiful here. The sun is shining and it's about 65 degrees, so the temperature is great, but um, we're going to have to put up with all these birds who are just overjoyed with the weather. Do you hear them? <laughs> Anyways, and in addition to that, we have construction going on on a house about half a mile from my house, maybe not even that, like three houses down. So there's some construction sounds too. So you definitely have come to the right place. Um, but let's get back to German Schmier, and I wanted to share with you some of my friends beautiful fireplaces We're gonna start with brick fireplaces first and the first person I want to share is Libby um, Her fireplace is what I consider a traditional German Schmier German Schmier <laughs> Brick fireplace um, her application is I would say a semi application it shows a lot of the natural brick that's under it, but yet still has a lot of the white, which really I think is a beautiful application. Um, from what I understand, I believe she used mortar mix on hers. So this gives you an example if you wanna use mortar mix. Okay, the next fireplace is by Catherine at Design Central. And if you'll notice on her fireplace, she focused in more on the grout lines than she did on top of the brick. There is some application on top of the brick, but it is, um, it's a thinner application. So this gives, this shows off her brick, but really brightens up the fireplace. And to me, her home is a 1905 build. And to me, I really feel like she kept the integrity of the house by doing this. Absolutely beautiful. Um, she did say she used joint compound instead of traditional mortar mix. So this is a great example of using joint compound. Okay, next on the list is Allie with Miss DIY on Instagram. And on her fireplace, she also used a mortar mix, but she did a very light coverage so that you could see all of her brick. She basically did like a whitewash, but with mortar mix. Okay, and then last is my friend Emily with, I hope I say this right, Le, uh, Le Cultiver. I'm not sure if I said that right. But Emily has a faux fireplace and she bought sheets of this brick finish. She brought a sheet and cut it and applied it within the frame of the beautiful mantle. And then she used spackle and she spackled it to give it this beautiful vintage old world look. I think she captured it beautifully. And if you don't have a fireplace, this is a wonderful DIY to follow. Um, her link is in my post, and I'll put a link to that in the, in the description. <laughs> okay, so while this bird right here is quiet, let's go on to stone fireplaces. 
Um, this is probably where I really wanted to focus the most on my research was to see what did a stone fireplace look like with German schmear. And I really think it's pretty. So I've got two examples. The first example is by Angie at all the things Angie on Instagram. And she did full coverage mortar mix. She did a 50 50. 50 water, 50 mortar, um, used white mortar, and completely covered her fireplace. I think it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then last is Krista with KristaGilbert.com. And she also did a mortar mix. She did um, a white mortar mix. And I love how she really applied it into those joints to make that stone fireplace less like bumpy and more um, like a gentle flow. And then she wiped off on the actual, the part of the stone that stuck out. She wiped that off so that you saw some of the natural color come through. And I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I give, I give hers a thumbs up. If you want a little bit to show, go check out her DIY that's linked in my blog post. Again, the link to my blog post is in the description. So, I hope you have found this DIY helpful and I hope you give it a try. I would love to know if you've ever done German Schmear in the comments or, or if you do German Schmear, I would love for you to come back and share with us how it was for you. So, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!